Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Halo here, and we're playing more One Piece Treasure Cruise. It's a new Sugo Fest. This is the Kazuna Sugo Fest with the debuting Sanji Pudding Dual Legend. Right, so it's a dual unit. They're actually pretty darn good. Uh, in my personal opinion, some other people might not think so. Uh, they're kind of selective in what classes they boost, but I like them. I think they have a really good switchability. Um, so real quick, I just want to go over the unit so that you guys kind of just have an understand why I'm pulling for them. But so their dual captain effect, right? Boost fighter, cerebral character. So only those two classes by five times. So there's no like extra condition you have to do on top of that. But this again, this is the dual captain ability. That's still really good, I feel. Uh, a high 1.35 HP boost, plus you get a 1.5 recovery boost. So overall, that's just like that is pretty darn strong. But you also get damage reduction by 10%, uh, which is always nice. And you get strength, dex, and quick slots matching for fighter and cerebral. Um, honestly, very strong. Uh, you start with Sanji. It's a four times when slot, slots match, 3.5 otherwise. You Remember, you get strength and dex. Not quick, though. Strength and dex matching for those two classes. Um, you get the HP boost and the damage reduction. And then I'm assuming on putting, you get the recovery. Yeah, so you get strength and quick slots matching. It's a just a standard, like a straight up 3.75. There's no condition there. Um, and you get the recovery boost for her. So... Honestly, I, very good, and personally, I think that's very good. Uh, their crewmate abilities, I'm sure they have other ones, but just the base one here is 100 stats for those two classes. And then the swap effect, which personally, I think is the best part about their kit. Um, completely removes characters paralysis, despair, and slot bind status. So the slot bind, that's really good. And the paralysis, like... Both of those things are really, really strong. The despair is really good if you're the captain, obviously, if you're running them as a captain. But otherwise, it, I mean, it only removes them on themselves. So if they're a sub, it doesn't really do anything for you. So you get a automatic, like, guaranteed matching slot because it goes through a block, block slot as well. And then this is the big deal here. It heals 25% of the damage received during the battle when moving to the next stage. So what that means is basically you swap, right? If you've taken damage, like in that stage, as long as you've swapped before you finish that stage, when you go to the next stage, all of the damage that you received during the battle, you heal 25% of that so it's pretty good like just reading that it sounds really really good whether that actually is as good as it is during play i'm not 100 percent sure but regardless getting a, a decent heal like that from what it sounds like is really strong plus of all the other stuff it does um all right so and then their special ability you get a fifteen thousand constant heal so there's no way to increase that heal you're just gonna get 15,000 right it removes all enemies threshold and damage reduction which is rainbow shield uh completely so it's kind of reminiscent of vv Ro and rebecca v1 vv rebecca uh and then you get a color affinity for fighter and cerebral by 2.25 for two turns and you become the doyen for three turns so overall very very strong unit uh, the Chiffon is also really good. They're kind of like another rare crew on the batch. VV Rebecca's here, the V2 one, which I don't have. And then Sengoku support unit and Monet Kazuna, Kazuna unit. Wait, no, this Sengoku is not the su support Sengoku, right? This is the Kazuna one. I misspoke. This one's really good. I didn't pull him, so getting him wouldn't actually be that bad. I do have the M Monet no. So, um, as for all the other legends, there's 10. For me personally, the legends I'm missing on this banner are the new dual unit, VV Rebecca V2, and there's Hawkins on this banner, who I also don't have, who is the oldest legend I don't have. 
anyway um step details they're not the greatest thing ever but they're not like awful in my personal opinion on the third multi you get a recommended character which is very good it's one of the five units i was going through um anyway max i'm going to is eight multi-pulls let's get straight on into it uh good luck everyone who is pulling and uh let's go ahead and see how this goes we're getting a class pickup super fist only character on the plus one i went and looked at the rates for this and it does include sanji pudding it's basically all any unit that can be pulled on a kazuna banner like specialty for a kazuna banner uh, is on this so we don't have any animations there right we didn't get any cut-ins so i don't really expect a legend here unless it's on the plus one which if it is then it's sanji pudding which would be hype as hell oh uh, flamevious i saw he pulled sanji pudding on the plus one on the first multi so he got super lucky because i know that's like the unit he wants the most um i watched toski's pulls before this and he got a lot of secret units so i'm expecting to get a lot of secret units that is of course if we get decent luck here oh uh, that tempo nami who i do have i'm pretty sure yeah i do okay that's all right Ooh, i'll take that the summon Ro summon robin that is a very good unit neptune guys i didn't pull this guy when i was pulling for shiroshi manchiri and i got him from a treasure map ticket i would couldn't believe it couldn't believe it i was really stoked for it that's a good pull that jack is good it's another secret unit all right Rogue. i don't think this guy's very good if i remember correctly so it's a gold not monet anybody but monet oh that's right but this isn't the recommended one i was like that's that wasn't one on the thing right that yeah this is not a good unit um he was very good when he came out but i haven't used him since so nobody knew there but we did get some decent rare recruits that i am happy to get copies of for a limit break this is really good there's a lot going on in there i'm coming around on the animations it feels like the end there's a red right there that could be it and i'd be stoked to see that i would be stoked to see that sandy pudding early i would i'm coming around on the animations though it seems like when you do get a lot of them you get like something decent but it's not always guaranteed, so. All right, it's not extended. V2 Rayleigh. Okay. I'm not 100% sure if I have him rainbowed or not. He has a six plus, which is pretty decent actually, so. That's a good uh, Ivankov. Bro, what is with a rogue coming and showing his face? This Nami's rainbowed, so I don't need any copies of her another one of those Ivankov. I will take that. I They might be rainbowed already though, so hopefully not. I think they might be close. Another secret unit. That's that high Zoro from the last one. I didn't pull him, so okay. Okay. It's not a good captain effect, but um, just slimming over that real quick. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. That's actually not... I'm okay with that, for sure. What was the... Like, plus one thing for this? I can't remember. It might be, like, a Sugo Fest unit or a Rapist unit. It's one or the other there. Don't do that, kitty kitty. Maybe a Rapist unit. I don't know. Yo. So, I got two new kitties. And this one here, the little bitty one... Uh likes looking at my cables so i'm not a huge fan of that right now don't chew on my cables no 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 no. don't do that not right now okay no i know what you're gonna do you're gonna be a kitty cat you want to chew on the cable i know you okay gillette oh gillette i have her rainbowed so that's not like fantastic that zoro is pretty good though i'll take that so this is what was that last step it was a rate boosted unit or a super fest exclusive okay this one's the recommended unit 
This is where we're really hoping we get zombie pudding. Some decent animations there. Got a cut in. Two. All right. And we got the gift. Bro, plus one red. Plus one red. That would be it. Plus one red? Guys? No secret red. Unless it's Sanji Pudding, I don't want a secret red. Okay, that's a secret character, not a secret red. Nightmare Luffy, who I don't have, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. Alright. Back to back. Okay, secret unit. I do have this chopper, for sure. Bonnie. Okay, the secret unit. It's not red. Okay, so the plus one. This has to be red, right? We got three cut-ins. It is! So this has it has to be Sandy Pudding. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hell yes. Bro, it is. Let's get this finished with. He's so cool. Yes. Dude, the cut-ins actually helped, dude. I was like, man, please, please don't let there be a secret red. Because if it wasn't a secret red, guaranteed the plus one had to be a red. And that's what happened. Let's go. It is Pog. Super Pog. I'm stoked. Let's go. All right, well, we're going to do the fourth multifold because it's one gem, but we're pretty much done. I'm hoping for Chiffon here, but if we don't get them, it's kind of whatever at this point. I got what I wanted. And we got the little Dugon ship thing. But honestly, if I could just get Chiffon here or VV Rebecca or Hawkins, <laughs> uh, I would be pretty happy. And we could be just done. Be sure fun. Just do it. Okay, chopper. Okay. Or Yasup. See, I don't have Yasup. Okay. Well, that's the brook. I did actually pull him on the Kazuna Sigo Fest he came out on. So I definitely know I have him. You think we're going to see an Apu legend? I don't know. Come on now. Bonnie, limit rare to Bonnie. She is so good. I remember pulling on her Sega Fest for her, or the banner for her. I got her on the first multi It was fantastic. Crocodile. Kami. So that Nami I have rainbowed for sure, no doubt. All right, Shafan. No, it's Moria. I think this is that Int Moria that I have. Yes, it's the limit rare group Moria. All right, last chance for Chiffon. Nope, okay. I am okay with that. Let's go, I'm happy. We got who we wanted. We got the new legend. Let's go. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I certainly had a good time <laughs> pulling the character I wanted, but uh, anybody else who is pulling, I hope you get just as good luck as I did. Uh, getting some good Kazuna units in there, some Limited Rare recruits. I think it's a pretty decent banner uh, in the end. I think the chances of getting the new unit are really good because of that third multiple uh, being a recommended unit. And if you get a red, you get like that has to be it. You know, just like what I had. Uh, so, like, four multi-pulls, I think, is a good place to be for this. Uh, but, again, if you use your gems the way you want to, nobody who's free to play should be pulling on this. But, you know, it is how it is. You pull what you want. Uh, you should be saving for Ace and Akainu. They should be coming within the next couple months, uh, if not a month from now. Uh, because I think we're going to be getting the Zoro and the Kaido, and then we get Ace and Akainu. 
and they're like the best legend in the game. So that's what you should be doing. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more content in the future. Go check out the description for a link to my Twitch. Uh, we have a lot of fun here playing Treasure Cruise, a bunch of other stuff. And uh, so hopefully I'll see you guys there. And anyway, guys, this is Red Halo. Peace out.